everybody. Let's go on an adventure today in the cave. Now we're inside of the cave. This is actually a simulation of a real cave and the main two purposes of it are exploration and investigation. which are universal aspects for children of any age. So this is a really great exhibit for them. Um, footprints right here. Um, there's lots of lizards on the walls. Um, there's rats in here and a dragonfly. And there's a door there. And we actually have stuff built inside of the cave that stimulates that in children. So we actually have things like fossils on the wall. So to get that exploration going, you can ask kids about the shape of the skeleton of the fossils and evidence of what type of animal used to live here, what they used to eat, and why they lived in this space. Yeah, this might be a polar bear. This is... This is uh, um, blow up fish. Mushroom. Mushroom. Bee. Butterfly. So talking about evidence of animal life, we actually have some other animals here. So we have a snake, which is great. Some kids like it, some kids don't, but it's always a great find. I see a snake. A snake. And then speaking of evidence of animal life, there's actually evidence of human life in the cave as well, these cave drawings up here. So this is a great way to ask questions for kids. Who used to live here? Why did they draw these pictures? What story are they trying to tell? And that's a great lead-in for kids to talk, make up their own stories. School-age kids used to usually like to come in here and make up their own stories and create their own narrative for the cave and become their own explorers. So that's something that older kids like to do. Younger kids actually like to come in here and then theirs is much of a more tactile experience. They like to feel their way around the cave and that's how they explore. And the caterpillar. Uh, you... Owl. Oh, owl. Mm, tree. So there's all kinds of things for all ages in here. So come on down to the cave and create your own adventure. Mm-hmm. <laughs>